welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and my Make Mine Marvel week continues with a look at the brand new Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Captain America. And this is the figure I have really been looking forward to, but it's the usual Diamond Select packaging. Massive packaging to house all those wonderful inter-swappable accessories. The artwork on the sides of the box is glorious. That is Captain America right there. On the back side, it's going to be the usual. You're going to get nice photos. And one thing that I really enjoy when Marvel Select, Diamond Select does it, is they actually give you a bio. They tell you who's involved. So thank you very much for that. Because Cap deserves all of that and then some. But with all the parts and pieces, I very much appreciate you can do tons of different looks for Captain America. Here's the barcode he's starting to ship out from various retailers. However, I will put links down in the description below if you likes what you sees and you wanna order one for yourself. So, this is gonna be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Steve Rogers, Captain America. So now here's everything out of the packaging. And in true Marvel Select fashion, there is a ton in the box. And that is always very much appreciated for a character, especially like Captain America, with various looks. You may want a certain one, and you could definitely achieve it here. You do get a ton of extra hands. I like the finger point in hand. All of them are really well painted. You will see some fleckage in the joints because they have painted them kind of like a NECA figure, but they have a nice wash to them as well. But there are certain hands that really do well in bringing this Captain America to life. And with all the articulation, you can get him salutin. Now, you do get various extra pieces like a belt, which kind of harkens to various looks in the past, modern comics for Captain America. So the pouch belt is really nice. It has nice paint. All the clasps, the belt buckle is painted. And you do get the straps that go around his shoulders. So then you could fix his shield or shields to the back. And I like that. It's a little bit of a weapon storage. If you want to go this route, this look for Captain America, I particularly like this shield that is included as well. That's a nice nod. For the most part, all of the paint looks fairly good. Some of the marks could have been just a little bit better here and there. The backside has the straps, but this is kind of interesting. We have swappable plates so that you can then stick this on the back of Captain America with the strap accessory, and it simply just adheres just like that. It's a really nice, sound, sturdy system of technology there. And what's nice is that you can rotate it as well so you can have it on either hand if you so choose. But in applying all of said accessories, Yes, you do make quite an interesting, very cool Captain America, even though I will say for me, classic Captain America is my preferred way to go. I just appreciate the shield tech, the way that you can simply swap out. If you want it on his arm, if you want it on his back, it just looks good in either sense. Every part and piece is really easy to put on him. It's not a struggle. And trust me, that's always nice to say about recent action figures. And you can use either shield as well. Each one will clip on. So that is just an extra added bonus. And of course, you do get the classic usual Captain America shield if we were able to find it in that snowy mountain. But it does clip off just as the other shield type. So you can actually swip swap those if you'd like. I did keep the hand on this just because it's easier instead of having to consistently kind of fit that in there every single time. That can be a little cumbersome, but once it's in, it's really easy to put on his hand. What's cool is that you get two neck pieces. Now this is for when he pulls his mask back or if you want a more classic-ish type Captain America, the mask pulled back is a nice touch. That is very cool to see. It's painted so that the black on the mask, the A, everything is crisp. And you get this more classic-ish type Captain America, the way the mask is pulled. I love the little wingtips, the A, this is without the black on the mask. So again, all the various looks for Captain America over the years is well represented and he just looks good. Despite what some may say about modern articulation and how Darman Select institutes it, 
I think that it works for this type of character, this kind of action figure that Marvel Select, Diamond Select, puts out. So it's vastly different to Marvel Legends, but I've always said Diamond Selects with the Marvel Selects, it's kind of like Toy Biz back in the day, but now modernized as opposed to Marvel Legends being entirely something new. But you do get an unmasked Steve Rogers head portrait. I like the paint. He just looks a little bit too mechanical. And what I'm trying to say is he doesn't have a whole lot of life in the face. He is stoic, but very robotic at the same time. However, when you want to have him displayed, putting the mask back, have it draped over his neck, it really does look cool. So in that sense, yes, it will definitely be a way to display, but Captain America himself, just as he is right here with the A, the black on the mask, this head portrait is stellar. I absolutely love what they did here with Captain America. And he thoroughly reminds me of the old Toy Biz Marvel Legends Wave 1. Although mine right on there on the front, right underneath his eye, the paint could have been just applied a little bit better. However, like I said, no accessories, nothing. Just standing as he is, that's a good looking Captain America. But in terms of just the overall looks, the sculpt, the face, yes, paint, like I said, could be a little bit better. I like how they've instituted the chain mail here. It's sculpted in, it's very light in some sense, but I kind of prefer that as opposed to a very heavy chain mail, like you would say the fish scales, that kind of deal. But I like what they did here. You have the whites to the red gloves, that's painted very crisp. When you swap the hands, you'll see some red paint fleckage. But what I do like, even though it's not pinless, which it doesn't have to be, it could still just be a toy. That doesn't make for a really good looking action figure sometimes, but not all the time. But I like how all the pins, all the colors, nothing is miscolored. Like he doesn't have red joints amidst the blue, you know what I mean? And with the ab crunch, that leaves a little bit to be desired because he simply just kind of swivels. It's not so much an ab crunch. He's got the waist, which will swivel. The belt buckle is painted beautifully. You have all the blue straps to house the belts. On the back side, the star is nice and crisp, and you can see all of the scale mail continues onto the back side. If you're wondering what this hole on the back is for, it's for a diamond select stand, but it doesn't come with one, but you have that option. But I would not use that for that. But down to his pirate boots, I like that it has a little bit of a dirty wash to it. Like, you would say, this is a Captain America in World War II. He's not clean and pristine. He has a little bit of a wash, and that really does aid in bringing him to life. The legs, sure, if you want to do cap in the splits, you can totally do that. He has double-jointed knees, which work great. Nothing rotates at the pirate boots, but he does have ankles that go up, down, left and right, and side to side with peg holes on the bottom. So again, for me, we'll say this, minus the ab crunch, that would have been nice just to kind of give it that little bit extra oomph. The articulation, especially in the head, the neck, it's two parts, so the neck and the head move separately. You can swap them out like I showed you, but it's a really cool looking Captain America. But for those of you wondering, Marvel Legends collectors, as we know, the bigger type characters will go with Marvel Legends. Characters mainstays like Captain America, even though they are in the seven inch scale, will not go with most Marvel Legends. Some of the bigger character Marvel Legends, sure, that might work, but no, standard six inch is not going to happen. But what I do appreciate is that I love the way Diamond Select does their figures. I truly do. Some of them can be really hit or miss sometimes, let's be honest. But in terms of Colonel America, one of my favorite figures in my collection for the Marvel Zombies, to now this Captain America, they really do Captain America well. And uh, this would be no exception. But if you were wondering, as a seven inch figure and McFarlane Toys being more in that seven inch scale, we could definitely say Batman, Superman, these types of characters would go with Marvel Select. So you could potentially team these up on your shelf. Although for me, that's just not a thing. It's, just, it's a nice idea, I suppose, but it's not my thing. However, I can appreciate Captain America, Superman. That's a nice team up on the shelf, especially with this new Superman body. He's a lot taller, so these definitely go together. So that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Captain America. And overall, 
This for me is a home run of a figure. I absolutely love the colors. I love the inner swappable parts and pieces. While I'm not gonna say that I absolutely love the head portrait unmasked, it's still well painted and it does look good, but I like the mask parts. I like the classic Captain America parts. I even like the extra belt and the strap so you can put the shield on him. It's not my ideal looks, of course, but to kind of have that option, should it occur that I need to take photos, I can definitely have it now. But I will say this, I sure hope Captain America is able to retrieve his shield, if you know what I mean. But like I said, Marvel Legends, certain characters of that nature will not go with Diamond Selects, but you can definitely fudge them in to your collection. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Captain America. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, stay tuned. We got a lot more Marvels to talk about this week. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.